The a woman stood up and told the witch that they could do better. The witch was not satisfied with this answer. Her goal was to eliminate all children. The woman was scared and sat back down. She took out a pen and began recording the witch's speech. Another woman quietly objected, but the witch heard her voice and strongly disapproved of her opposition. The woman tried to defend herself, but the witch didn't listen at all. The witch frightened away the people next to the woman, pointed at her, and her eyes emitted a purple light that hit the woman's body. The woman instantly exploded and turned into a pile of black ruins. Everyone sat back down and listened to the witch's scolding. The witch told everyone to return to their hopes and continue their work. She instructed the witches to put poison in chocolates and candies that children cannot resist, so they can quickly eliminate all children. Then the witch continued her speech. A woman in the audience raised her own question. The witch criticized the woman severely. The woman tried to argue with her, but the witch trembled with anger. To be more persuasive, the witch took out a blue bottle to show everyone. It turned out that the bottle contained a recipe for poison that would turn people into mice when consumed. The witch ended her speech and put her mask and wig back on. At this moment, a little boy walked in. It turned out that he had already been fed the potion. The boy's body started shaking, and a mouse head grew out. His clothes fell to the ground, and he turned into a gray mouse and escaped. The witch suddenly smelled the scent of the child and ordered the witches to start searching. The witches caught the boy together and forced him to drink the potion. After drinking it, the boy lost consciousness and his body started shaking. His clothes fell to the ground, and he turned into a yellow mouse. The boy desperately tried to escape, crawling into a window and arriving at a dilapidated factory. There he met the boy who had turned into a gray mouse before.